Audio Jungle. Hello, I have been a member of the NMRA for 50 years. My UP and Western layout was open in year 2010 for the Wise Division Convention event. At this convention, I was using the JMRI operations program to move my model railroad cars. I would to talk about JMRI operations with paper using key codes. The WISE division of the NMRA Train Festex team is organizing a 2020 clinic event. The 2020 train show of the WISE division was cancelled this year because of the growing pandemic of the novel coronavirus 19. There are schemes designed to move railroad cars around a model railroad. The time-tested four-cycle waybill popularized by Doug Smith in the 1960s is a good one. For many years as model manufacturers only produce a certain number of cars with different road numbers. What if you need to model a large fleet of cars but only can find cars with duplicate numbers, what are your options? The idea of adding key codes in operations can help the guest operator. To show you how four cycle waybill works. Road name is GATX tank car. Car number is 22591. Type of car is TA tank. Here the GATX 22591 tank car has been moved. It is now parked at a location spur. The name of this spur track is Friars Point. The industry name is Gets Gas. This spur has a length of 100 feet. It can hold 240 feet tank cars with gas or empty. When there are many cars in the yard, the car no is hard to see. The number could be very small and very hard to read. This is when I started to use two letters print on heavy light yellow paper. Then punched out my two letter code with a simple paper punch. The two black letters in a small yellow circle, were put on both ends of the car, on my right side very near the top. In any yard you can now see the two letters for this car. Operations on my layout, went from car cards to using JMRI. I now including use of car numbers and a one letter as a key in the printout of a JMRI operations program switch lists. With just two letters of B and the A, the code is formed on my first duplicate box car. The car number for this box in this picture could be as 123456. Car number identification in the JMRI operations program is now UP 3456BA. Only the last four numbers are used. The duplicate number is no longer a problem. In fact, you may now have many duplicate numbers on your layout. I print my two letters on paper with a yellow background. I print three of these same codes on one line with my 10 found black print setting. I paper punch out three circles. Just in case one of these is damaged. I put rubber glue on the back. Place on the car, front view, right side, and as high as possible. UP and Western Railroad is set in the late 50s with steam and early diesels. We were open for Milwaukee 2010 convention. The layout is set in the late 50s with steam and early diesels most now with sound. A significant amount of switching is done between these two model railroads. The Union Pacific is in 130 by 26 room with 30 MIN radius and the Western Branch Line Railroad's 10 by 12 layout is in another room with 24 MIN radius and 2% grades. The operator on the right is holding a JMRI operation printout. If you are using JMRI for your software, it doesn't matter which computer type of system is being used. The JMRI operations program is running on Java. You get to pick and choose your idea of what is best for you. It has many font sizes and types. You can choose what train related items you want to print, and in what order. 
This picture also shows the small yellow circles key codes on most cars in my yard. They are easy for operator to see, even if this yard is completely full of cars. This is a picture of Big Island Yard is on my UP and Western layout. Again, you can see the yellow circles on the box cars. The Western Railroad is in the other room, and you can see three printouts ready for a Western Yard operator. There is a JMRI printout hanging on the panel in front of the of Big Island Yard, it is ready to be worked at any time. One person can operate here for three hours. We even give him a separate printout of what trains are going to visit this yard. The numbers near the location name are the inches from the floor to the track. The Western Railroad is from the locations of Lake Junction to Granger Yard. The UP Railroad is from location Gra Download JMRI Model Railroad interface for free. Download the Java software for free. The Java application is to control any model railroad layout using any type of computer. As of the year 2020, run the JMRI program version 2.14.1, using the Java version of 1.6 A new version of both these programs do generally come out about once per year. You can find these free programs located at jmri.com and java.com. It is recommended installing the latest version of Java. Rolf Plachter started building his Ho scale Midwest lines in the year 1966. This layout has grown to a railroad empire in a 33 by 52 foot basement. The layout at a glance. Railroad name is Midwest Lines Railroad. The operating crew needed is 15 operators. Operating system. Computer generated print lists using the JMRI operations program. Many model railroaders in the Milwaukee area have seen this layout. A clipboard with a JMRI printout is on the panel is in front of Rolf. There are also two operating yards seen in this picture. You can see the two old DC control panels. Yes, Rolf operates on digital command control. He has removed the DC toggle switches, and the push-push buttons now operate the slow-moving turnouts as seen on the panel. The very first key letter of A is any boxcar. The first letter A to Z or A to Z can give you 52 cars types. The second letter A to Z is that this car is also linked or connected with another car. When the computer selects this car, it also gets another car to move. Now, 80 feet is needed to get both of these cars to fit into an industrial spur track. Tips you should consider. Keep your car types basic. The initial location is important because the spur track must accept this K-type. I identify cars by, road name, car number, a single key letter for the type of car, and the color with 40 feet or other lengths. The current location of this car and many other cars are important. Many times, the operator does not finish his job of moving all of his car at the end of the operating session. I like to finish the job by moving the cars by hand. Also, the locomotive and caboose are put to where they should be by hand. Here is an example of railroad names, which is the very first part of the car identification code. The space that I allowed is five letters for this piece of information. Note that I am adding periods to the two letter railroad names. This is to take up more room my five letter column followed by a blank space by the program. The first letter is the key. Text for the type of car is 10 letters maximum. The key A1 means any boxcar. The key B1 means boxcar slash GN. Rolf uses a code of slash with a small letter A. This means this letter is on both ends of the car, 
stenciled onto the roof of the car. I use the letters of X, Y and Z. I can make copies of locomotives, cars and cabooses which really don't exist. This helped to keep the program from failing to make printed moves. When I see X, Y or Z in the printout I need to take action or tell the operator what is going on. Normal start is zero moves. Key letters of X, Y and Z start at 50 moves. This is Java software, is used for the backing up your railroad. Car identification starts with A, 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 A and A. Then road number, of four numbers is, to me is now only the numbers, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is then followed by Letter A Number 1 Code B or small b This is the last three spaces on your cars, is the part that is now being used for the keys. The second letter is for the code, which is now all inside the car identification number. This car is now definitely unique, even if you purchase 10 of the same box car. Midwest lines with key and codes. Printouts are by the JMRI operations program using Java. Note that the staging yard is a spur track of 7,000 feet. This staging yard can hold 150 cars. As you can see in this picture, the car number of 8 should be 0008. In the color heading of number 40 feet I am trying to get two pieces of information in the space of six letters. For location. Alpine is the name of the first location. It has a yard spur length of 5,047 feet. This can be about 110 cars. This can be for eastbound, westbound trains and the Alpine switcher. We need room for cars coming in, and also cars going out. In this picture of locomotives, Locomotives should be 02 and the next should be 0008. This is how we set our digital command control when we are selecting our two or four digit locomotive numbers. With key and codes, the main idea is that any car number over 9999, we start using the code. If we purchase more cars, with the same number, and road type, we can start using the same railroad number, and put a key code somewhere on the car. Even on the bottom of the car, if this is what you like. We can then mark up to 20 more cars, that are the really same car road and car number. Midwest lines with key and codes. Printouts are by the JMRI operations program using Java. Start with staging yard is 7,000 feet. The rich field yard is 1,000 feet. The Colby yard is 1,400 feet. The West Fork yard is 1,000 feet. The Elk Springs yard is 5,000 feet. The Midwest lines is basically an oval going east or west. When you come down the basement stairs, you first see a very large staging yard. This staging area holds many cars. There is also has a building for engines and cabooses. This yard feeds other city yards, which then move to the spur track industries and empty cars with the letter E. The industries change the letter to load with the letter L. This letter can be changed to the word load or the word like paint to indicate the type of load. Manifest for train number 505 the Richfield local. This printout shows the work to be done by an operator in the city of Richfield.
Manifest for train number 404 the Colby Local. This printout shows the work to be done by an operator in the city of Colby. Manifest for train number 101, the Elk Springs Local. This printout shows the work to be done by an operator in the city of Elk Springs. Manifest for train number 102. It runs from the Elk Spring Yard to the Alpine Yard. Twelve cars are being picked up in this JMRI printout. Continued manifest for train the number 102. The 12 cars from the Elk Spring Yard are being set out as work in the Alpine Yard. The train number 102 is terminated in Alpine. Only the locomotive is put into the engine house in Alpine. Thirty one East through Freight Denver, Kansas City. His is the building of a through freight that starts in staging and makes pick up and drop out of cars at four different yards. Manifest for train number three one is called the through freight for Denver to Kansas City. This direction is considered to be as east. This is the first page of this train manifest which is called through freight. Some comments are made. A diesel locomotive has been picked. A caboose and one car from a staging industry has been picked. Fourteen other cars have been picked, shows where they are going. Scheduled work in Elk Springs Yard with an estimated time. Train departs Elk Springs Yard eastbound with 16 cars, 764 feet long, and 1,730 tons train load for one engine. Next time maybe we should consider this train with two diesel locomotives. Work for West Fork Yard. And only part of the work for the Colby Yard, are showered in this part of the printout. Manifest of page 2 shows the continuation of the other part of work for the Colby Yard. The last city scheduled work is Richfield Yard. The 31 East through freight now runs under the layout. It comes out in the staging yard as to where it started. Fourteen new cars have been picked up from the four cities, are now set out into the staging yard. One new car is also set out for a staging industry located in this large area. The caboose finally goes back into the staging caboose house. And the diesel locomotive is put into the engine house. Train 31 East is now terminated in the JMRI program. The program now moves all these cars to their new locations. It even tells you how many times the car has been moved. Next time the program looks for cars with a lower number of moves. The program was written by JMRI version 2.14.1 on Saturday, October 24, 2017. When you use courier font for your printouts, then every number and letter takes the same amount of space. This gives the effect of much nicer columns for the user. This also makes the JMRI car identification code easier to read. Using printed columns and key codes have been enjoyed by my operators. Finally, an example of a key code is the railroad letters, the car number, and a letter. Car ID is AAAA 1234 AA Type is a key letter using first letter A means any boxcar. Richfield also has an engine house, and a turntable. Train can run east and west on this part of the Midwest line layout. In the December 2020 issue of Model Railroader magazine, starting on page 38, more than 50 years of fun article was written by Cody Grivno. Since 1966 the HO scale Midwest Lines has provided enjoyment for family and the operating crews. Mr. Bernal Baker helps run the Midwest Lines Railroad. Mr. Rolf Plachter was the builder. There is a core crew of six to eight operators, Bernal said. 
Others come as they can or are invited by a crew member. Rolf also hosts sessions during local operating weekends and during conventions and monthly National Model Railroad Association division meets. Bernal said the ideal size for a crew is 10 to 14 operators. Positions include staging yard director, dispatcher, five local operators, and road crews. A typical session lasts between two and three hours, during which during which time 10 to 15 trains run over the system. Trains are built using JMRI operations, which, according to the program's website, allows you to create computer-generated train manifests for your railroad. Bernal said he enjoys using the program on the Midwest lines. JMRI operations builds trains from the information entered into the program by the railroad owner, Bernal said. The nice thing about JMRI operations is you can enter basic information and be up and running very quickly. If you so wish, you can enter more detailed information and get more involved at a later date. As trains are run during a session, they are terminated so the cars again become available for future trains, Bernal continued. If need be during a session, more trains are called, and switch lists are printed for road crews and local operators. When a session winds down, I begin to print switch lists for the next session. Hagen Mining Co. has operating chutes that load ore cars with material. The cars are then sent to the Copper Processing Incorporated plant in Golden, where a vacuum system unloads the cars inside the plant. The city of Golden is really the very same location for loaded or empty ore cars. After you vacuum out your ore cars, the same material is reused to reload the same empty ore cars again at the Hagen Mining Co. A typical session lasts between 2 and 3 hours, during which during which time 10 to 15 trains run over the system. Trains are built using JMRI operations, which, according to the program's website, allows you to create computer-generated train manifests for your railroad. JMRI operations can also be used to tell a story. This is only an example of me trying to make a story with of using the JMRI operations program with key and codes. Or cars loads are from the mine, to the pellet industry. Loads of pellets are moved to the ship dock. They return empty to the mine. On one side of the room elk spring yard is used to move ore cars to and from a ship dock. On the other side of the room, Alpine Yard is used with a nearby industry that processes iron ore into iron pellets. The pellets go to the ship dock to be unloaded and empty ore cars are returned to the mine. I will start with the JMRI location data. I can give it a location name of stage shelf yard. The location name for two diesels is stage shelf track. This shelf could be right above the Milwaukee station if Rolf wanted it. In the edit location data, I chose north and south for directions and a yard for the type of usage. 20 ore cars are new and empty Great Northern cars. 15 ore cars are weathered Great Northern cars with iron ore material as the load. In the edit track view data, 20 empty cars need at least 730 feet of space to fit the 20 new cars. This is four groups of empty ore cars, where five empty cars are considered to be just for one group. In the next case, just two groups of loaded ore cars are needed because, the iron ore is considered to be a heavy load. As you can see, these great northern ore cars are new, and they are very clean. As soon as you start loading iron ore into a ore car, they can become very dirty. Think of this as an ore loader is knocking a rivet off at the location of the letter G. For these groups of five ore cars, I am using a code of I and A, with A, B, C, and finally D. This is one group of five cars. JMRI will print all of these 20 empty ore cars, at wherever location I want. I want two locomotives to pull 20 empty ore cars or 10 loaded cars. One diesel cab hood is forward, and the other diesel cab hood is to the back. Notice that an arrow direction was added to the diesel number 1234. 
Both locomotives are on the location called the stage shelf track. They are connected the consist code of 1234-1234. Notice that an arrow direction was added to both diesels with the numbers 1234. For the route data, I will do the stage or reset route first. This like setting up a proper stage before the operators come to the layout. I am putting the empty ore cars, the loaded ore cars, and the iron pellet cars in their proper location using the reset or route. To do the stage or reset route, my story is, that Rolf could have a guest over who would like to do a little bit of operating. So, Rolf take two diesels and all the new ore cars off the shelf, and runs them under the layout, to the Elk Springs station. Gives the throttle to the guest, tells him to leave some cars in Elk Springs yard and the rest go to the ship dock track. Ask the do you want some. Then take all the ore pellets cars from the ship dock. Then go to the other side of the room, to the Applin yard, and leave them all there. Rolf can finish the reset by taking loaded ore cars form Kanakan Inc. in Alpine with the two diesels and put them all on the stage shelf above the Milwaukee station. Now the next day one of the 15 operators can run the ore train with the following JMRI printout. It starts with two diesels, and 10 loaded ore cars going to Alpine. It starts with the iron ore loads are going to the Kanakan Incorporated Industry in Applin. Then pellets cars move from the Applin yard to the ship dock near the Elk Springs yard. Finally, 20 iron ore empty cars return to stage shelf YD. And also put the two diesels to the engine track. The stage shelf route starts at the location stage shelf track with two diesels. It picks up 10 loaded ore cars. No work in three cities that it goes by. Does lots of work in Alpine and Elk Springs. And returns with 20 empty ore cars, because this is a lighter load than 10 load ore cares. Trains build is where the JMRI printout is done. They can be reviewed before printing. Rolf has information of the Midwest Line Railroad very nicely arranged for his operation group of people. This is what the JMRI printout could look like. There are three pages of printout. The last page, number three, is to finish printing the remaining 20 empty ore cars to the shelf, and then put the two diesels also on the shelf. In the print option panel, I have changed saying the words pick up to just one word pick, and the others to just the word set. The word move has four letters. I like courier font because a letter and a period take the same amount of space. This helps keeping your JMRI printouts with nice uniform looking columns. You can also download demo files, which others model rotor operators have done, into your JMRI program. It is amazing that this program is free, and runs on any type of computer, because it uses a Java download. See the December 2020 issue of MR for much more information about the HO Midwest Lines. The Midwest Line layout will be in the December 2020 issue of Model Railroad Magazine.